it's time for story time. Elder Richard Stanley. Sure, he could do that. Uh -huh. 
But you know what his mother thought? She thought maybe this was written in code. Have you ever had codes? You know, like during the war, the spies were saying codes back and forth. So let's look at a code here. So let's see. We have a notebook here. There's a notebook. And you're right, you could write a notebook. Actually, this is a special notebook. Look at that, see? Where you could actually write notes. But that's probably not what he meant. So let's look at it. Notebook. What if we change those words around and said, book notes. Book of notes. Book of notes. So what do we have that has a book full of notes? The hymnal is a book full of notes, right? So maybe he wanted a hymn book. Hmm. But you think the guards would let him have a hymn book? And there's a lot more pages than 121 in this book. And if you tore out the pages, the guards wouldn't like that. So there must be something else. Well, you know, should we change the notebook around? What if we change the 121 page around? And what would that read? Page 121 of a book of notes. What do you think? So let's look in our book here. I have page 121 and you know what it says? Go tell it on a mountain. Hmm. Does that sound right? I mean, does he want his mom to go on a mountain and talk about Jesus? Probably not. He's in prison. So what did we do wrong? Where, where is this story taking place? What country? China. China. Yeah, so he's Chinese. And what kind of notebook do you think he had in China? Hmm. A Chinese book of notes, right? In the Chinese book of notes, uh, their books are numbered differently. And in his book of notes, Page 121 is actually, in our book of notes, page 272. And what does that say? Give me the Bible. So that's what he wanted. Now how is she going to give him a Bible? She found a small New Testament that was really thin. And she wrapped it up really tight. And, of course, she made a bigger bar of soap than this one. And she made a hole in the bar of soap. She slipped the New Testament inside and covered it up. And, of course, the guards were expecting him to get a notebook. So she sent a notebook along with the bar of soap. And they looked at it. Okay, fine. And they gave it to him. And he was alone. He got his notebook, right? And you know what she wrote in the notebook? May this notebook help keep you clean. Ah, it was a code too. So you know what he did? He broke open his bar of soap and what did he find inside? The Bible. Yes, he found the Bible inside and so that made him happy. And he could have the Bible and what is the Bible is? It's a lamp to our feet, a light to our path. It's food for us. And so we need to be thankful that we all have Bibles here. Don't we? And so I would like us to sing the first stanzas all together. Congregation, you can turn to, in your English books, to hymn number 272, the first stanza. The chorus is, Give me the Bible, holy message shining. Thy light shall guide me in the narrow way. Precept and promise. Law and love combining, it combines the law and love, till night shall vanish in eternal day. Hymn number 272.
one of you like to pray? Father, we thank you for the blessing of another Sabbath day to come to your house and worship. May you help us and guide us and protect us as we go through this Sabbath day. Amen. 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 Make up your seats.